Hello, welcome to ISTQB Foundation Level Syllabus. And today we are going to discuss the last topic of test process and that is traceability between the test basics and the test work products. So we have to provide the traceability between the test basics and the work products whichever come out of that particular phases and why we have to do that. So let's discuss that. So the first point is to implement the effective test monitoring and control process. So in order to make the monitoring and control phase effective, this traceability is very much required. For example, we had six requirements. So in the monitoring phase, we will see, see that whether we are working on these six requirements or not, or we, whether we will be able to complete these six requirements or not. So that is why if we have a traceability, then we will know, know that for how many requirements we have written the test case and for how many requirements it is still pen pending and depending upon the time and the number of test cases remaining we can take a decision and monitoring will be improved and it will be effective also the next one is revert to the test planning so if uh, th that totally depends upon the monitoring phase so if we see that the number of test cases are more and the time is less for that so we can uh, using this monitoring phase we can go to the planning phase and change our planning by adding an additional resource or adding the time to it so that is why this traceability is very very important next is the, uh, communication to the st stakeholder if we uh, have to communicate with the stakeholder we have to say that okay we are able to cover 80 percentage of your requirement so depending upon that uh, stakeholder will tell you what actions you have to take so that is why we need a traceability to talk with the customer uh, to make our monitoring phase uh, more stronger and effective and if there is any problem reverting back to the planning phase so this is the answer for why and then coming to support so what are the support we get for this traceabilities so analyzing the impact of changes so this is uh, what is very important suppose we had those six requirements now the new requirement has come so definitely we will come to know that there is a new requirement because there is no traceability for that new requirement so we can check that what impact it will be on the other things and the other, uh, and one more example i can give you is suppose you have these six test cases in that six test cases only one particular test case is uh, updated or it is made new newly written instead of 10 millisecond now they have made it as 20 millisecond so in that case what you will see that how many test cases will be impacted one test case or two test cases so depending upon that you can increase uh, you can strengthen your test planning phase making test auditable so we can audit it how audit means we will someone can come from outside and check that whatever test case you have uh, whether it is traceable to all the requirements so he can come and see that each of the requirement for each of the requirement do we have the test case or not so that way it is it becomes more auditable also next is test progress report and summary report so with this traceability we will have these reports also and by seeing a report we can go back to till the requirement phase and see, see that okay this particular requirement is covered and passed next comes the providing the information about the quality process capability project and process against the business goal so if we have defined the goal by this date it will be done so uh, traceability will help us to re, uh, reach that particular goal by seeing that how many requirements we have covered and how many requirements are still pending so traceability matrix really helps in finding out the coverage of your requirement so hope you have understood why is this traceability important and what all support we will get if we have a traceability in our uh, testing process so this is it from my side for this particular topic and with this we complete our activity of test process so see you in my next lecture until then happy testing